Mayan brewing this is a uh, it's called a Jianghua Jianghua Xiang, which is a Phoenix Oolong with the uh, ginger, it's a ginger flower fragrance. Okay. You know, Phoenix Oolong, we have a 10 major fragrance, uh, Jiangmu, but this is Jianghua Xiang, which is ginger. important thing is you don't want to pour it directly on the leaves. Exactly. And then also you see a lot of people have a bad habit doing this. This is very bad. Oh, it don't is. Don't do that. Why? Because when you brew the tea, uh, uh, the tea leaves are starting to release the, the caffeine, all the good stuff. Mm -hmm, okay, and mm -hmm. it's floating on top. And then when you stir that, it mixed it, you know, the tea, the tea in here, the water, mm -hmm. and then the, the thing is coming out and it's just going down. When you flipping it, mix it up, but when you pour it, it's already getting more, you know, like, uh, um, what do you call that, it just mix it more. But mm -hmm. you want to leave it on top. When you pour it, uh, let them naturally float. Mm -hmm. You know, when the water coming out, let naturally float. And don't, don't do this. That's not really a, I don't like that. That's not, also that's not really good, uh, good, uh, good, uh, good habit that you don't really respect the tea. Mm -hmm. When I brew tea, I'm very serious with my tea because they are, um, they are serious thing, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, it's a very respectful process. And this is a very, it's not respectful for your tea. And uh, so, um, I will give you roll call. And obviously, first tea, you don't really want to drink. Mm -hmm. You want to just, I'm warming the cup. So before I have a little tea. So this you do, I know one reason is to take out some of that caffeine, right? Caffeine, most important is you want to wash your tea. Wash the tea. Tea go through, the tea, the loose tea it, in that section is already go through thousands of hands. Mm -hmm. And uh, you don't want to, uh, to sample the one out of the water. That's okay. Just two of us. The good thing about this little cup and the little pot is you don't want your water constantly brew, mm -hmm. repeatedly brew. It's also not good. You want to put cold, fresh water in, right? Yeah, each okay. time. Better okay. just use it up one time. Okay. So don't... Um, and uh, when you put the cup you know, on, leave it a little space. Okay. Part of it is if you have the water more, higher, you can see have a white base, you can see the color of tea color, and you mm. see, oh, one is ready. And that's another way to. Now you let your tea steep, the first one you let steep a little um, less time, right? And then you let the second one steep a little longer? About every, yeah, every okay. additional time, just add five seconds or 10 seconds. So well, how long do you generally let your tea, your oolongs steep? Uh, first one is uh, 20 seconds. Really? Yeah, 20 okay. seconds. Okay. Sometimes you put it in, you have to dump it out right away. Sorry, I used the word dump. You pour it out right okay. away. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean. Uh -huh. uh, and, then, um, and then second, third, and fourth, you just uh, increase uh, while you the frequency going. Because uh, you brew the tea already first time, second time, and third time, it's getting a less and less flavor. Uh, but to my experience, a certain tea, certain tea is, um, and the fourth and the fifth time is the best, best flavor. If 
I want this fire slower. And um, this part is, um, you know, because I was talking, I put too much water. If I put, if you put accidentally like this, mm -hmm. you put too much water, mm -hmm. you have to increase the time. Okay. Because okay. it's too much. You increase the time, let's say, I'm supposed to get five more seconds, I look at the water, oh no, I have to put a 10 more seconds or something, just for a little longer to get the same flavor. You okay. know, sometimes you forgot your chat and, you know, uh, pour no. more. Now, when you're serving in these cups, do you sip this? Mm -hmm. You sip it, and it's because normally, well, not normally. Um, so I'll drink my tea in a t in a tea cup or in a mug, mm -hmm. maybe. And so you have a nice, big cup of tea. But here you have, for me, that would be two sips generally, right? But you just really want a delicate. You, you want a delicate and enjoy it and a slow process of drinking. This, exactly. Right? Okay. That's what it called the tea tasting. I'll show you. The little cup in Chinese we're calling. It Sun ping. Sun ping. Pin no, cha. Pin. The writing of pin is this four, three square. That's called pin. P I N, I think. Pin, okay. Pin cha. What the three square means? The square means pin. First of all, means taste. You want to taste something. But why three? Hmm. Three is each square represents one sip or one bite. You know, and not only necessary has to be drink, but it mm. can be a food. Three means first sip, you really taste the nature of them. Mm. Whatever the tea were from, the nature, climate. And the second, you taste the history of mm. this particular product, mm -hmm. whatever it is involved with the culture of this. Of course, the third one, the tea, it tastes itself, and then you and me, the friendship, everybody come together mm. about the gathering, the meaning. So, three, pin cha, we say the san pin is the pin, pin is its taste from the culture, the history the people's human mm. relationship and everything. Mm. So um, there's other people who have a different uh, different um, explanation, which is fine. I think it's three, there's a meaning, there's a three element, very basic mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. of your life. Anything you want to think of. Right. Yeah, you can't have really, you know, like a creative, they say, you know, okay, three, I tasted uh, really my tea, and then I taste, um, you know, but I think originally, the original explanation is the, the, the history, the nature, the respect of the nature and history, and enjoying the history and the friendship that the people gathering today. Mm. Okay. Thank you.